It's not just any interstate highway, this final stretch of road, and it wasn't just any ceremony that opened it either. The officials of Highway District 17 put on a hamburger luncheon for the nearly 500 visitors who came to Fairfield for the occasion. Everybody was there to remember the 12-mile segment between Streetman and Fairfield that has been termed the most dangerous stretch of road in the state. Among the happiest of visitors was DPS patrolman Jim Keller. Keller has patrolled Highway 75 for eight years. As the eaters ate and the speakers spoke, Keller reflected on the 50 or more fatal accidents he's investigated in those eight years and thought of the future when the four-lane divided highway will make his job a lot less risky and a lot easier. Keller says the worst year on the outdated blacktop road was 1967, when 15 people were killed just between Labor Day and the end of the year. Already this year, 14 motorists have lost their lives on the 12 death-dealing miles, and the highway department has taken drastic steps to try to cut down the toll. Those steps include special signs to remind motorists of the danger, as well as special skid-resistant pavement. But as patrolman Jim Keller looked into the future, the old two-lane highway moved into the past. As Highway Commission Chairman DeWitt Greer snipped the ribbon to open the new interstate, officials closed the circuit symbolizing the completion of the highway link, and the final segment was opened with a bang. This is Phil Reynolds, Channel 8 News on the Move.